Have you ever wondered how to change a seat on a motorbike? Have you ever wondered what's underneath the seat on your motorbike? Well stick around and I'll show you how to change out the seat on a Triumph Rocket 3 Touring. Don't you just hate it when you come outside to do some work on your bike and it bloody rains. So out comes the towel. Try and give it a bit of a wipe down. And try and actually get this job done before it rains again. Oh, I need basic wipe down, I don't need to get too carried away. Okay guys, what I'm up to today is I'm going to be changing out my seat, the single seat here. Um, you can see you've got it here, and you can see how the bike looks with it. You know, it's a pretty cool looking machine when you've got the single on it. You know, no big screen or anything like that, just a basically a bike, street sort of bike. You know, it's looking pretty cool. And I'm uh, changing it up today because I'm getting it ready um, to set it up. For more highway riding, getting got some big long trips coming up. A real big long one. If I manage to make myself make it down to the brass monkey, but what I need to do is change out this scene here and put on the big touring seat. Hey okay, guys, here's the big touring seat. Got it just down here. You can see how it's got a, a backrest on it. Oh well, guys. I never thought I'd be doing a how-to um, video, but this is basically a how to change out your uh, Triumph Rocket 3 Touring seat. It's really easy. There's a couple of bolts. If I bring you in, I'll just have to open the old bags here. And right underneath there, if you can see it, right under there, here it is, right under there. There's a bolt. There's only two bolts, one this side, one on the other side that you have to do. Pretty easy, pretty easy to change out, just in and under there. And of course when you put the big tour on, you gotta take this off here. Um, because the tour bolts on the end, the big touring seat. So yeah, so that's that's all you gotta do basically. I'll just uh, run you guys through that and I'll show you how, how it's done. Okay guys, this is real simple. You don't do me too many tools. Just a, uh, just uh, all you need is a socket, ratchet, a few little things, some Allen keys to uh, take this off here. It's pretty straightforward, eh? So let's get into it. So basically, just take this and come in under here, and you just undo it, and out it comes. And I've actually, this is just a bolt here, I use bolts that used to have screws like that, with Allen, Allen screws, but you can see they get all marred up and, well anyway, those aren't going to fail on me and I can get them out at any time. So we just leave it on that side, we go on to the other side here, I'm going to do this one, Real simple job. So here's the bolt. You just lift it back up, pull it off, that's it. And as you can see here, that's where your battery is. So if you want to change it, your battery is right there. You've got your air filter, air cleaner. I mean, your, yeah, you've got your air cleaner there. So you can change your filters out here. So that's all under the seat. That's how that goes. So now we just we'll give it a quick wipe and then we'll put the big tour of seat back. Righto guys. And we just might as well give it a quick wipe while we're here. Probably won't get one for another little while. Not too much. Just a quick clean up. And then we'll we're gonna just take this one here off.
pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Lost your jumps. Now, let's just have a quick look at that there. This piece here, I made this up at work. If I had brought the piece to go on there from Triumph, it would have cost me 50 bucks. I made this in about oh, five minutes. So, you do the maths. So now, we just have to stick the big seat on. Big tour. As you can see, for the air cleaner. This part here, this, you know, this all goes in. This is where the bolts are. It's really easy, really straightforward. Here's the back piece there. And we just stick it on. And that's basically it. Seat's on now. We'll just do the bolts up. Put the bolts in. So that's the bolt. So we just put it in loose. There you go. It's pretty easy. I'll just do uh, just chuck in the one on the other side. There it is here. Yeah, I use bolts because there's nothing worse than rounding off these uh, yeah. there's nothing worse than rounding off this type of screw because when they're in there uh, where, they, where they go right down and under here man it's a battle to get them out so there we are we just stick those in loosely stick this back in over here that just goes on there Just like that. You can pan back a bit, Grace. And got this other little gadget. Got this other gadget here. So that the universal on the Allen key because of the angles here. And it enables me to get right in there. But before I tighten this fully up, I'll do those side bolts first. So we can just come down here. That one here. Just a little nip. Come on this side. Just do that one up again. Just the little nip. There you go, it's tight. Take over to here. Lighten that up. It's nice and tight. And now, just tighten this one up. Get to push, this, push the seat in a little bit. That's it. Look at that. Nice and tight. And there you have it. So now, now we have. We have the big tourist seat back on, backrest, and this just makes this thing so much more comfortable to ride with. So this is the sissy bar. Goes on just to, um, it's all quick release. So we just stick it on there, line it up on, on both sides. Once you goes, and you just pull it back. You heard the click. That's it. Pillion passenger now, we're good to go. Or if you put a big bag in here, and somewhere to tie it up. Pretty solid. And you look here, it's got a key lock. You can lock this baby on there so that you can't come on. Just a couple more gadgets to stick on. I'll stick chuck on the big screen and we'll uh, you'll see this thing transform into the big full grease tourer.
just while I'm here showing you guys a few things this is how you adjust the backrest see that there there's a nice little nice little nut there that one there you just push this seat forward a little bit and you can rotate that to wherever you want there's a numbering system on there and it gives you the angle you want one being basically a real laid back recliner type I prefer it on too not quite that far backwards but it sits up nicely just right nice little pro tip Good old trip, it's all good trip release. On she goes with a click, that's it. Big Toro, that's the big Toro. So, yeah, so that's that's my, my Triumph Rocket 3 Touring now. It's been converted from a sort of a street wise bagger, single seater gun fighter to the full on Toura. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.